funny. I saw some Facebook comments too. Like the one I saw one. I saw one guy like, man, I'm done with Jay Z. That nigga racist. By the way, putting that, that nigga, <laughs> nigga racist. racist yeah. <laughs> but and somebody even came after was like, see what you don't understand. Dot dot dot. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Still nigga. OJ like. I'm not black. I'm OJ. But like I said, y'all want to talk about music a little more. And I told you, when the time comes and it's appropriate. We will talk about music. Everybody's been talking about Mr. Z. First name, Jay. Jay-Z. <laughs> Mr. Carter. And the reason why everybody's talking about Jay-Z is because he's got a new album out, uh, 444, as in like 444 p.m. or something, you know? Oh, that's what that's for? No, it's not. thing is, nobody even knows what it's about. At least at first they didn't, because uh, there was a... Bunch of signs going up all over town. I think in New York and everything, these tan signs went up for the album. And it was 444 on there. People thought it was like some biblical verse or something. They didn't know what was going mm-hmm. on. And then they found out it was with Jay-Z. Something with Jay-Z. And the thing with, uh, with Jay-Z is that people first heard that 444 was going to be a movie. A movie with uh, the guy from... Uh, Mahershala, yeah, Ali. Mahershala Ali, Mahershala Ali, uh, Lupita Nyong'o, uh-huh. and all these things kept coming out. They were saying, "Well, Jay Z's probably releasing this movie because it's NC-17." So everybody's thinking 444 was going to be this film uh, released and uh, produced by, uh, by by Jay Z, and then it started coming out that no, nah, it's an album, and it's not just it's not just uh, an ordinary album from Jay Z. They say it's probably one of the most personal and brutally honest. Albums that he's released, they, songs include uh, topics about uh, him apologizing to Beyonce. For what? Uh, what do you mean for what? <laughs> you don't remember? You don't remember when he caught that ass whooping that elevator? <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> and everybody, I, yeah, but I don't see why he had to apologize. Because apparently he did something dirty. Oh. So they're saying, yeah, he came out and he's apologizing for that. Uh, they're saying that there's songs in there where he's talking about his mother coming out as being gay. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, that, which a lot of people didn't know. Shit, I think there's a song in there talking about I got my ass whooped in the elevator. <laughs> 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 Y'all remember that when uh, uh, Salon's uh, yeah. uh, uh, Beyond, Salon's nose whooped his ass in there? Mm. And you know a motherfucker's wrong because when because when you when you write, that's when you grab a chicken, but you better control yourself. Right. But if you wrong, you're like, all right, go you, ahead, just do it. You just... pull back, you take that ass whooping. Yeah. And so a lot of people said, all right, look, nobody's up in his business. They don't know. That's between them, and they worked it out. But whatever. Especially where your, your wife's not trying to get, get her sister to stop. Oh, no. She over there practicing her dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be working on my show. Whoop that nigga's ass. <laughs> He's over there dancing himself. Stop. <laughs> Quick, girl. Go. But, uh, th- yeah, a lot of it said whatever would happen with them, he's willing to put it out there on the album. And there was some other weird things with it, too, because people were talking about how not only is, uh, is, is, uh, is the album personal, but now he's changing his name. You know rappers, right, right, man. Right, right. Taking out the, the hyphen. He's taking out the hyphen. Some with rappers where they, they, they like to play Scrabble with their name. You know, they just get, they just get bored at some point. Sure. They got to change it around. So, so is it pronounced J's now? No, no, no. It's, it went from lower. Uh, all lowercase except for the J and the Z. All lowercase. You know, it was J Z. Now it's J Z. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's all caps. <laughs> they really, the rappers in these names, they really get bored with these names. And the funny thing about it is, a lot of rappers change their names, and they don't change their identities or personalities mm-hmm. or their character or that. Uh, they'll be the same person. Your boy, old dirty bastard, had a bunch of names: Big Baby Jesus, right. Dirt McGurk, or something. But everybody said. He's still the same guy, but then they thought he was crazy anyway, so he said he might be schizophrenic for all we know. Right. But these rappers changed their names a lot, and Jay-Z said, yeah, it's, hey, look. It's time for me to do it. It's the bold Jay-Z, put it all out there, so the only way to do it justice is to put that name in all caps. So a lot of things were going on with this album, and people just finally said, yeah, but what about the fucking music? <laughs> you know, what about... That's a good question. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. It seems to get forgotten these days. Yeah, you know, all this hype. What about the album? Well, the album is, uh, is out now, and... As uh, you might have guessed, it's only avail- available on Tidal. Sure. And Tidal, that's Jay-Z's uh, uh, streaming music business, where it was, it was the music for, for the creators, for the artists, which means that they just came out just doing each other favors. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. they, they they're just attract a lot of people, like Kanye, when uh, Life of Pablo came out, made a lot of, uh, like, brought in like about one, 
1.5 million subscribers on the first, I just first read time. Today that he's leaving title. Oh yeah, that is <clears throat> that's another thing. It's on title, and I want to listen to the album. So if you're looking for an album review, I ain't having it because I ain't going on title. I ain't subscribing to title. I ain't switching to Sprint. Sprint got 33 percent in, in title now. And then they think that the fourth popular, the fourth most popular service in the country, that's going to get you to switch. You better bring that shit over to T-Mobile because otherwise I ain't doing it. And, 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 and the other thing with title is that you're right. You know, uh, uh, Jay-Z, his BFF, Kanye, they leaving now. Watch the Throne was their big album. Everybody thought, man, ain't none going to split these guys up except $33 million. Oh. <laughs> Maybe $3 million rather. Yeah, uh, they, money got in the way. They said, hey, you know. Jay Z saying, uh, or Kanye saying, I don't really, be, I'm not really in the title. I, don't, I, I, I don't think that, uh, I don't like the way the business is going. And y'all owe me money, for especially when I brought all these people in. Mm-hmm. So they kind of part ways. So title don't even look like a. I'm not gonna get on a streaming service when I already got one just for one goddamn album. Sure. I'm trying hard not to pirate it, <laughs> but you're gonna push me there. If you, if <laughs> you already was right. <laughs> Well, you just hadn't gotten around to it yet. At the point where I really want to listen to the album, but I don't want to be that guy that mm-hmm. that that pirates it yet. If the album is as good as uh, as people are saying it is, so I'm trying not to get on there and pirate that album. I'm trying real hard, I'm, Ringo. I'm trying real hard, Z, <laughs> <laughs> to be the shepherd, <laughs> but I ain't gonna do it. Yeah, man. But it's really hard to do if the album is as good as this song that first came out, the story of OJ. And a lot of people, they don't know how to feel about this because the story of OJ, and it's a, I think, if nothing else, it's an extremely interesting video because Jay Z ain't in it. Jay Z ain't anywhere to be seen. Instead, he got J Bo to come in and do it, to take oh. his place. Yeah. A lot of people looking at this and they're just like, I don't really know how to feel about this. And the song. The song is, uh, I, it took me a while to really get into the song because when you listen to it, it's not an even flow. It's, uh, it feels almost disjointed. It feels like he's almost kind of interrupting his own song. Mm-hmm. I did like the music, though, that's in here. This is, uh, and I'll go ahead and play some for you. It's an animated video directed by him and another director I'll talk about in a little bit. But, and it's all done in black and white. And if you're not watching you're only listening to us right now the reason why it's catching a lot of people off guard and making them feel really uneasy is because it's all done with uh with with sambos and coons racist images i'm a field nigga with sean cutlery go play the quarters where the butlers be i'ma play the corners where the hustlers be you know a lot of people black people (laughs) got mad they're like man jay-z racist (laughs) <laughs> yeah i look martin what, i see you about to say something what's going on uh i love this i knew it i knew you would i knew you would and see y'all I, I a lot of people got it but there were one there's about one or two people they don't understand satire and irony. And that happens all the time. People do satire. It can be as brilliant as it can be. There's always somebody <clears throat> who just looks at, at it on the surface. They don't get it, and they want to they, they wanna, they wanna punish that thing like yeah. it's the thing that it's actually making fun of. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jay-Z dropping some knowledge, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break it down to what it is if you really didn't pay attention, but y'all ain't hearing it. A couple of people just saw them big lips. Mm-hmm. Man, that motherfucker hate black people. He's black. <laughs> you know, we, are we going to have to start teaching courses on irony and satire? Because yeah. a lot of people really don't seem to get it. Well, plus, what, what we have is people are really anxious to have something to be outraged about. And y'all don't understand what's happening here. First of all, this is a... Uh, th- 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 it's funny, I saw some Facebook comments, too. Like the one, I saw one. I saw one guy like, man... I'm done with Jay Z. That nigga racist. By the way, putting that, that nigga, nigga racist. racist yeah. <laughs> but and somebody even came after was like, see what you don't understand. Dot dot dot. Never mind. <laughs> like, yeah, man. Don't even. It's just one guy. It's just one ignorant fuck who don't understand. Just just leave it alone. Everybody else gets it because everybody. You don't know. Uh, 
you know, people like us from this generation. Now, I'm, I'm sure that everybody knows after our generation, but for years, man, because when you and I were coming up, they played these cartoons on TV. Like they were nothing. Like they were nothing. This is, you probably on YouTube have seen what they call the most racist cartoon ever made. Big lip, lazy, lazy, shuffling, <laughs> shuffling, shuffling, shiftless, yeah, and shuffling. So lazy can hardly talk through them big lips. Mm -hmm. Negroes, coons, and sambos is what they are called. And what 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 uh, Jay Z was doing right here, y'all don't I don't know how y'all don't get it. The whole thing is him trying to tell people. That this is a system. I mean, you should listen to the song, man. The song is brilliant. I, I, I love what you just played. Uh, he's telling people, like, look, this is a system that's already a huge obstacle for people of color. And just because you got money, don't think that it gets easier. Right. <laughs> uh, the system is trained to, like, especially in hip hop, the system is trained to make you think in a very materialistic way. Mm. And he's telling people out there, listen, when you get, when you get money... Don't don't squander it. Don't be materialistic. Take it. Invest it. Put it in something. Uh, you can hear some of the verses that he's saying right here. He's like, and you don't have to just invest in yourself. If, make money. Make something of yourself. And then you can go back and change the neighborhood. I told him, please don't die over the neighborhood that your mama rented. Wish I could take it back to the beginning. You know, there's one part of him where he's even talking about something that black people really need to hear. Which is uh, inheritance and a legacy. Mm -hmm. Having uh, because a lot a lot of people don't understand that wealth keeps getting distributed through generations because of an inheritance, because there's a legacy of of, uh, of wealth going on. Sure. And he's talking about, look, man, I'm I'm making money. I'm you know, and I'm I'm investing. You call it, he say you call it bougie that I'm buying paintings, but those paintings they gain value over years. And by the time my children come around, they're gonna have a three million dollar painting on their hands that they can invest themselves. Little J-Bo can't wait to get back to his coon kids, right? There. <laughs> 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 little, little picking in, picking in is out there. You know that's uh, and a lot of people. And Sam even sent me a meme. It's like y'all. He's like, wow, y'all ain't nobody listening, man. Everybody like, yeah, yeah, nigga, that's good. But what about Beyonce? What you do to her? <laughs> this is a meme going around right now. So let me get this straight. Jay Z gave black man basically a handbook to life: accept the responsibility, invest, generate generational wealth, be company, create legacy. Raps about black owned businesses, supporting black people, financial freedom for black folk, and all y'all heard was he cheated on Beyonce. <laughs> really? Because <laughs> that's what a lot of people are doing. It's all about the gossip. Yeah, that's cool, man. Money, yeah, investment. What you do to that bitch, man? You know, it's a. Uh, it's 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 that's the burden of putting a very personal album out there. It's almost like putting out gossip for some people. But man, this is uh this is it, this, I it's it's it, I, I listened to it and even though I didn't get into the to the rhyme scheme at first, which I did very shortly. Mm. I the message hooked me immediately. Uh and I love the production on it. I love the sample that he has on there. It, it's sampled uh it's it's taken from a sample of uh of Nina Simone's Four Women, which mm. I had never really heard before, but I looked it up today, and I love not only the production of the video, yeah. but it's also I like I like the way the sample. It's not just a sample they put out there. He used a sample to kind of uh, give a throwback to her. My skin is black. My arms are long. My hair is woolly. Hello, not, bass player. I know, man. It's that bass player all the way from Vulcan. <laughs> Little Nemo on bass, <laughs> but he's one of the bass players. You know, bass players get lost in their shit. Yeah, he got his eyes closed. <laughs> See, he's on he's on Planet B. Right now. <laughs> you know, them bass players that just be out there. <laughs> he he is on Planet Vulcan right now. <laughs> See, he's one of the bass players. Right? when they're done, he's still going. Like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Oh, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Where the Beatles at? <laughs> but with your cousin snapping in the background. <laughs> yeah, 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 cat. Yeah, yeah daddy-o. And the video, it played tribute to her uh, in the production of the video itself. It's an animated uh, uh, video, so they made an animated Nina Simone. And I like that they have it. And now, granted, it's a Sambo Nina Simone, but it's... Well, if it's the style of everything else. But it's the style of the video. Yeah. 
You know, it's uh, and it's something where I like that they did this because it's the the, the image the imagery that you see here. No, it's not racist. It's not meant to. Even if a white person directed this video, it would not be racist. It's something to drive. They want to let you know that the system is such against you, or the hurdles of that system is such against you that they're showing you that it's not, they almost have these images here to say this is some some people in the system. This is how they still see you today. Sure, <laughs> you know. <it's, laughs> nah, man, it is. It's uh. Oh, it's 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 brilliant, man. It's brilliant and. What I'm also impressed with is that uh, is that uh, 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 Jay Z directed this, and and Jay Z directed this. What were you gonna say? Oh, I'm curious as to who the the animation director is. Uh, you know the one of the uh, one of the directors in here, and I'm gonna put this picture up. Let me see if I can find him. One of the directors, because it's two directors. Let me see here. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second here. Uh. Because there's two directors in here, and Jay Z is one of them. So you know the concept is uh, is from Jay Z. Sure, concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But who actually did all the the real heavy lifting? What well, do you uh, like uh, the guy that did one of his most popular videos, which is uh, you know, Ninety Nine Problems. Son, do you know I'm stopping you for? Cause I'm young and I'm black and my hat's real low. Do I look like a mind reader, sir? I don't know. That's considered to be one of the <clears throat> most stylistic videos, not only that, not only for him, but at the time, mm -hmm. it was Mark Romanek who did that. Oh wait, uh, they, they, who did uh, one hour photo? Yeah, one hour photo. Yeah, who usually waits for people in dark rooms when you walk in? <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Mr. Thomas. But yeah, it was that guy that directed this. Him and him and Jay Z directed this together. Okay. So yeah, it's uh, you know, and, and again, coming back with another very stylish uh, video, but. The the cool thing about Jay Z with this song right here is that the, well just this climate that we have in general because a lot of people talk about how hip hop sucks how hip hop is bad how it's it's suffering and it's, I used to hear that from you yeah you know, well it's a because now you get, you get a lot of radio play from the songs that are the most mundane songs because the most mainstream shit is what sells sure and of course the mainstream shit is gonna be like every other mainstream shit to make money mm -hmm. it's gonna be watered down but. Every now and then you get a breakout, and you still got guys out there that are that are doing it. Young guys that are doing it. This this climate, the the you know police violence, rise of racism, uh, you know just the, what what the political environment has created. Uh, a lot of young dudes out there are responding to that, especially with the violence that's out there. You know, you know especially people like Kendrick Lamar. This is this band. This is uh this is video uh, element right here. But you know, there's images that they put in there where they talk about the violence that's being committed against black people. Yeah. They talk about you know the stuff that's uh, going on with the rise of racism out there, which is cool. A lot of young people are doing that. That's why I think it's really cool that you have the contrast of some of the older hip hop artists who are out there too. Sure. Because while these young guys out there fighting with the with the messages that we're talking about violence and oppression, you got these older guys who are coming in and saying, "Hey, man, you know, it's not a." It, as an older person who has made it, you know, let me go ahead and tell you, now that I'm a success, follow me, invest, learn how to handle your success. You need a lot of these, these older cats to come in and tell them that, you know, if you're not going to be careful, the business and everybody else is going to take from you. Sure. And it happens all the time. All the time. And the other thing that is cool is that you get all these uh, older guys who are coming out now and saying, hey, look, it's okay to talk about the things that you see in the news today, but also don't be afraid to be political because everybody thinks political don't sell. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a time when political sold a lot of records in hip hop. And one of the best albums from last year was a uh, tribe called quest. Uh, with, and they had one song that was very political. We, the people. Man, it was uh, that that whole album was almost totally political. And considered to be one of the best albums last year. And plus, these older guys are doing things that 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 not afraid to take chances. They say, "Man, fight the sound. Do work with other artists who are not. Don't be afraid to do cross genre stuff. Mm -hmm. Work with other people." Another album that people say is a underrated album, although it was it was a uh, it was a uh, uh, a huge success, was from uh, De La Soul, and it was called the in the in the uh, anonymous uh, uh, nobody. And that that album, it took a lot of artistic uh, uh, risk. And there was one song on there, Dawn, that they hardly ever rapped in that song. They Little Dragon came in and actually did most of the music. They didn't rap until the end.
It's not until the last minute of the, of the, of the video that they come in. Yeah. Like they showed up late to the recording. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of people checking this shit. Did I type in the right shit? <laughs> Man, what's this white shit that got paid right here? But oh, no, the 405 was shut down. <laughs> as soon as we could get here. And now, you, like I said, you got Jay-Z coming in with his message. But my point is, is that, you know, and I take it back if I've been a little harsh on hip-hop because I think we're beginning to get to a point right now where we, we're starting to see a good balance of things out there. Hip hop is beginning to have something to say again. Mm -hmm. Sadly, it takes hip hop uh, uh, adversities, sure, you know, to to come in and really be what it what it was meant to be. Yeah, and sad we are in, we are in a time like that, but we're getting good music. So I know I I. I so if I pirate this album, it's Jay Z's fault for <laughs> making it so good. Well, that's usually one of the benefits of a, a an oppressive government is that you get better art. No, no, we see it right here. So don't be afraid to be political. Don't be afraid to take chances. Don't be afraid to be extremely racist. Which <laughs> 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 it's paying off for him. So I just you know I, I'm if anybody's heard the album, feel free to give us a call. Well, okay, I, I'm certainly not going to subscribe to title, but. Can I buy the CD? That's what everybody's waiting on. Man, he's man, he is making you try to get on title. I mean, I ain't. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him. I I, I get it. <laughs> you know, the July seventh for the physical copy. Oh, okay. So there you go, man. There you go. Your wedding. Yeah, my wedding. So you ain't coming to my wedding, so you go buy. You gonna be listening to JG's album? <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be somewhere right now. So I'll listen to Jay Z. <laughs>